in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. It was made on a fraction of the budget of its competitors, but this true story of slavery was crowned best film by BAFTA, a remarkable achievement for its British director. Thank you, Mum. Thank you for having the faith. Never give up, Mummy. Thank you. Um, finally, right now, there are 21 million people in slavery as we sit here. 21 million people. I just hope that 150 years from now, our ambivalence will not allow another filmmaker to make this film. Thank you so much for this trophy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Best Actor went to another Brit in Chiwetel Ejiofor, also for 12 years a slave. He beat off stiff competition from the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, who was gracious in defeat. Thank you for this. This is yours, by the way. Um, I know that. You know that. It is yours. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> the, kind of, the kind of guy I am, but it's yours. Don't attach that arm going to carry you too far. But it was this blockbuster, which has raked in $700 million at the box office so far, that scooped the lion's share of awards, winning six of the 11 it was nominated for. Houston, I lost visual, Dr. Stone. The most prestigious was for director Alfonso Cuaron. You cannot tell from my accent, but uh, I consider myself a, a part of the British film industry. Uh, I live in uh, London the last 13 years, and I've done almost half of my films uh, in, in the UK. Uh, I guess that I make a very good case for curbing immigration. Steve Coogan said an award for his writing would mean more to him than an award for acting. And so it transpired, the comedian picking up a BAFTA for Best Adapted Screenplay for Philomena, beating Captain Phillips and 12 Years a Slave. But the star of Philomena, Dame Judi Dench, missed out on a record seventh film BAFTA to Kate Blanchett for Blue Jasmine. Thank you, BAFTA. I was sitting in row G, so I thought there was a sign that I wouldn't be getting up here tonight. Um... It was a disappointing night for American Hustle, picking up only three of the ten it was up for. But a surprise and emotional win for Barkad Abdi, the best supporting actor, had never been in a film before. I want to thank uh, Paul Greengrass for believing me before I believe in myself and brought me into this project. All you have to do is look at the guest list here to realise just how highly regarded the BAFTAs are. It's the last major award before the Oscars, and those who do well here traditionally go on to do well in L.A. At the evening's finale, a celebration of the work of Dame Helen Mirren, led by the Duke of Cambridge. Hollywood royalty will rub shoulders again at the Oscars on March the 2nd, and after tonight, the Brits will go brimming with confidence. Richard Suchet, Sky News, at the BAFTAs.